So last week I made a controversial video that wasn't as controversial as I thought it would be. A lot of you actually agreed with me. And in that video I mentioned that the next video I made would be about why Beast with a Billion Backs is the greatest Futurama movie to date. And a ton of you disagreed with me about that. So, you know, it was a joke, but screw it. Okay, here is a quick video about why Beast with a Billion Backs is, in fact, the best Futurama movie to date. Um, number one, David Cross. David Cross of Mr. Show is one of the greatest comedians of our time, and he is the voice of the uh, titular Beast. <laughs> titular. Um, uh, gosh, I just distracted myself with the word titular. God, I'm like 12. Anyway, um, David Cross is in fact hilarious and everything he's ever done, and he's hilarious in this. Number two, Stephen Hawking is in this. Yes, they could have just used a MacBook to um, do that text-to-speech stuff, but no, they had Stephen Hawking come in and do several lines, one of which uh, he insults Leela. It's very funny. Stephen Hawking. Uh, number three, Robot Devil is in this. Robot Devil is the greatest Futurama minor character of all time. Uh, every scene, he's the, the Ralph, I guess. If you were to compare it to The Simpsons, he's the character who is hysterically funny every time he's on screen. Um, and this is one of those scenes where every time I watch it, I laugh until I cry. Spoiler alert, it's the one where um, he tells Bender that to get what he wants, he has to sacrifice his firstborn son. Bender goes out, has a tearful reunion with the son, brings the son back to robot hell, and then immediately boots him into a vat of molten lava. Seriously, I laugh until I cry every time. It's hilarious. And fourth and most importantly is that the, the storyline is about cults. The storyline is about a religion. It's about um, this supposedly ancient, all-powerful being that's watched over humans for billions of years and finally descends to Earth uh, to, to show his love. And he shows his love by like brainwashing everyone. And, you know, it's about the horror of seeing all of your friends turn into these mindless zombies who who claim to really love the tentacle, even though you can see that they, you know, it's gross and and they've sort of lost all all free will. And, you know, it's not even subtle. You know, Fry is the, the tentacle pope. Um, he comes down and says, thou shalt love the tentacle, to which the professor says, well, at least we don't have to love one another. Uh, I mean, come on, that's, that's, that's prime religion bashing right there in, in comedic cartoonish form. Um, and, and, you know, so all these people are wandering around, you know, loving the tentacle, and the whole time, unbeknownst to them, uh, they are quite literally being screwed. Um, as as Leela reveals, those aren't tentacles, those are genticles, which isn't that just something you want to work into your everyday life? Um, in fact, I think the next time that I'm in a religious debate with someone, I'm going to shout that. Um, so those are those are just a few of the, the main reasons why uh, Beast with a Billion Backs is the best Futurama movie to date. Um, I do own all of them, so I would be interested in hearing your rebuttals. Uh, please leave them leave them in the comments.